An Austin City property that has been dormant for four years is now the target for the latest homeless shelter idea. This one would be inside the city's new innovation district at 12th and Red River Streets. KXAN's Avery Travis spoke with city officials about how much it would cost and how much support this project would actually have. She's live at the property downtown with more. Avery. Back in January, there was a plan proposed at a council work session to turn this parking garage into a storage facility for the homeless community. And I'm told today that plan is still in focus. But if you'll follow me across the parking lot here, the city actually owns this entire building. And since it's been empty for several years, some council members thought they'd get an estimate at how much it would cost to turn it into a homeless shelter. It's important that we provide a solution that is safe and comfortable and a good living environment as well. Looking at every possibility for temporary short term housing, Economic Development Director Veronica Bersino says it's all departments on deck. Being very um, aggressive about how we address the, the issue of homelessness. Several council members asked Bersino's office to take a closer look at converting a building they've owned since the 50s into that temporary shelter. I think this is an unusual discussion we're having in this sense. The city was leased the property to Health South as a rehab center, but after that closed its doors in 2016, a 2018 council resolution directed city staff to start taking proposals to redevelop the site, possibly for affordable housing. And the city says right now they're still taking requests for proposals for a long term plan. I anticipate it would be years. Their estimate for converting the space into a safe and comfortable homeless shelter in the meantime would cost anywhere from 2.5 to 6.6 .6 million dollars and take more than two years. That's why council member Natasha Harper Madison, whose district it falls in, is not on board. And my hope is that as of the last round of information that we've received, that we can sort of move on to a more financially feasible and viable option. Brazino's office tells me that they sent those figures in a memo out today that was sent to the city council. So now it's up to the council whether or not they want to move forward with this building. They are telling me that through this year they're still taking those longer term proposals for the building. For now, reporting live in downtown Austin, Avery Travis, KXAN News.